My name is Amanda Poss. I'm the gallery director for Hillsborough Community College and the program manager for Grounds for Art at HCC, which covers all of our public art programs. Fledgling Takes Flight was born out of the nest site, which is behind me, a green space meant to educate about food sovereignty, sustainability, and also social justice. Also just a beautiful place to inhabit and just really get regrounded with nature. Fledgling and Nest were both done by Tori Tepp. Um, Fledgling was completed in 2022 with the intent of bringing the concepts from the Nest site out into the community. And so with this idea also of co-authorship, we wanted to invite three additional artists to make toolkits that could be put onto the fledgling cart and brought out into the neighborhoods. So this first year, we selected three artists to go out in Ybor City, um, Nicole Villanueva, who combined health and wellness through zine making and yoga, Christina Acosta, who is a dance instructor here at HCC that combined bodily movement with exploration of historical monuments, and also Eric Andina, who brought together really traditional paint processes like egg tempera with Ybor's um, very iconic chickens. So uh, this workshop was an introduction to my formula, which is an egg tempera emulsion. Basically, it's a modification of an old egg tempera recipe that uses uh, different uh, types of natural resins to create a paint that is flexible, durable, and uh, all natural. So uh, this is basically just a kit that has everything you're going to need to create that formula. Those eggs were sourced right here from Ybor City, uh, from the Ybor City uh, Misfits Sanctuary. It's a uh, nonprofit sanctuary that takes care of the chickens here from Ybor. Uh, the chickens in Ybor are a protected species that's been around for hundreds of years from the original uh, settlers of the Ybor City area. Uh, and you'll, they're an iconic part of Ybor City, so I thought it was really cool to incorporate that a uh, little piece of um, the location, the history, uh, into the project. It was just a really great way to incorporate a lot of the community, uh, making uh, new connections with uh, different organizations, for example, the Ybor Misfit Sanctuary, also uh, the local market, and uh, even just having people come up to me and say, what are you doing here? Well, uh, it's open, it's free. Uh, what do you mean it's free? Yeah, here, sit down, let's learn. Uh, so I thought that was really cool to engage with the community. The workshop consisted of um, community members coming out and making some shapes and learning about the power of gesture and how gesture can really inform movement and not to be scared to move and really taking a chance to do something they haven't done before. Well, what we did as part of the project was we actually created an opportunity for people to pick a card. And once they picked a card, they picked a place. So we made it kind of like a game where the participants could pick the places where each of the activities happened. So it's really the idea is that the, the box can continue to live on and document different activities at different places. What I really loved during the workshop was that there was a variety of ages and people that came out to participate. And one of the participants thought it would be a great way to do singles dating. And they thought it would be a great opportunity to bring people together in various ways. So I think that's the most memorable experience. 